Hi, I'm Carol Berkman and welcome to my YouTube channel. I do acrylic pour paintings on this channel. I do other paintings as well, but this YouTube channel is specifically for acrylic pour paintings. Please watch, you might find it very informative and fun. And if you like what you see, give me a like, share it, and subscribe, it's free. Hi, Carol Berkman here. I'm back to do a pour tonight. And one of the challenges that I have had is doing the swipes. I did one when I first started, it turned out great. Every other one has failed. <laughs> and it's the tool I use to swipe. I, that plastic file folder that some use, I can't make that work. Paper towel, it pulls all my paint off. So tonight I am going to try something different. I'm going to try swiping with wax paper. I'm hoping once I get my paper down, I better cut that up a little evenly. Maybe I'll do it this way. There we go. So I have trouble swiping. And it's just one of those things. I think I'm going to try swiping with wax paper. Maybe if I can get it down and touching the paint and pull gently, it'll be the perfect thing to not dig in and rip, pull too much paint off. But anyway, I'm going to give that a whirl. And if not, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it out and hose it down, because I can. So I am going to pour down some colors. There's not I have some Payne's Gray that I've mixed up. It's the same Payne's Gray that I've used. It's made with the, uh, let me grab it, Saks True Flow Heavy Body Acrylics, uh, made with Mars Black, a dollop of Ultramarine Blue, a dollop of Thalo Blue. And then it is mixed with Floetrol and the Heavy um, Super Gel. color. I hope this all works out. So let's give it a go. So I just love the pink, blue, and silver combo. And I do have some of that Payne's Gray I'm going to put in here too for a little added depth. Swipes are so beautiful. I do love them. But for me, it's a challenge and challenge accepted.
There's no silicone at all in this paint. Question is, is will the wax paper be my new best swiping friend tool? I've tried the little paint cards that you can pick up in the hardware store. Tried paper towel. Tried the plastic file folders, which I cannot stand. They just, they work for others real well, but for me, you know, just ain't cutting it. Okay, so. Ah, deep breath. It's going to be okay. Just relax. Put the wax paper into just the paint. Make sure it has good contact. Ooh. And then slowly pull backwards. Yeah, that's what it does with the file folder too right there. I don't know why it does that. Not crazy about that. I'm just going to cut some of this off. cells coming up at all. Call that a fail. Gonna have to go back and research my swipes. One swipe did great. Don't know why, what I did, how I did. I listened to a video. I made my paints a little thicker. So pissed off. Well, okay. Give this nice background color. It actually looks kind of pretty. All right, I think I'm gonna pause you. I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try that again. 
I know that this time though, my swipe color, I'm gonna load that guy up with some silicone oil. That'll do it. I don't know if it's the water in my area or what it is, but some of the recipes I try online and I even measure them out, but maybe I need to buy distilled water because sometimes my paints, they just don't cooperate. But anyway, I'm gonna pause you. We'll come back and do it again. GoPro, stop recording. Hi, Carol Berkland, I'm back. I got rid of that nasty puppy pad. Got me a clean one. I'm gonna put these blue gloves on. I think they're a little bit more durable. I haven't been able to find the medium sized gloves, just the large. So I guess the manufacturers quit making as many of the mediums because most people probably buy the large. Anywho, I'm going to give this a second go. First, you don't succeed. Try, try again. So I'm trying to do a swipe here unsuccessfully. Unfortunately. Yeah, they say the cell activator, you do like a ounce of the American Floetrol and 35 ml of your paint. And that, they say to use Amsterdam, but I've been on Amazon looking for Amsterdam. It didn't come up. You know what else I can't find? Americana decor, white satin enamel. Find the beige, not the white. So I am going to just give me some regular black that I've mixed up. I'm gonna load that bad boy up with silicone. That'll sell. So this is my gloss black. Grab my silicone oil. Force it to make cells. I'll just have to keep looking on Amazon to see if I can find that magical, elusive Amsterdam paints. Michaels don't carry it. Walmart don't carry it. Joanne's don't carry it. Maybe I should try eBay. So I gave that five drops. That will sell. And this is the Artist Loft silicone oil. A little bit thicker than my three in one. That used up my blue, so I'm going to use it up on this one. I'm going to get kind of like a saturated V pattern. I'm going to scoop out the rest of that on the very top. And 
And if I don't have enough paint to cover this canvas, I'm going to add in some white. Maybe I should do that anyway. silver left so that's good hated to waste all that paint, but it just doesn't work out, and sometimes I'm temperamental. I don't like it. I scrape it. I scrape it. Decided to try it again. That's why I didn't go hose off the canvas. This don't work. I'm going to go hose off the canvas. Boy, a lot of people make that swipe and look so simple. And, you know, ironically, my very first one, I didn't think about it. I just did it. It worked that great. Now I can't do a swipe to save my life. It's just amazing. husband cut some of these clips out to make this a little bit shorter for you. Alrighty. Hopefully this will work and I will get something out of these beautiful paints. That's running pretty fast. I thought it was a little thicker than that. Use my hand to catch some of this.
good bit of air bubbles I'm seeing. I'm going to have to pop those. Fighting with this canvas. I'm gonna add me some white. And this is some house paint that I mixed up. It's the Glidden Satin Interior mixed with some of the Liquitex. Gloss Super Heavy Gel, a little of the GAC 800. I'm trying to remember if I put any Floetrol in this or not. I do love this old milk jug that I've got here. It's the uh, toasted coconut almond milk blend. Good stuff. This gives it a little more paint on my canvas. I'll make it easier to tilt. And I hope that I didn't put too much white on it. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Back over. Gloves covered in paint. Just running my stick through this to break up some of that white. So 
that's a lot of white. Put a little silver back in here. And I'm hoping if I'm successful with the swipe this time that some of these colors will come up from under this white. Oh, the messes we make. Okay. wish I could find my paint cards to try that again. My paint cards are these little paint sample color cards that you can pick up at the hardware store. I had a bunch of those. I don't know what I did with them. So I didn't care for that wax paper. It was a little bit rough. Might just look good like that. Probably throw some silicone oil on it and have a pretty decent painting. <laughs> but I want to master this swipey thing. Okay. Let me go figure out what I'm going to swipe with. I guess I will do the plastic file folder. Hadn't in the past. Put my paper towel down. Move this in just a bit. Come on. This is my cell activator. Got my Wish me luck, people. Alrighty. Good luck, Carol.
Ooh, that's pretty. So I want to keep some of this lacing, but it's like, where else do I have to do this neck? go too much on that one. I kind of like the way that comes in. I'm not sure I remember exactly how I did that. Okay, half roll. That's pretty. Hmm. Just did a big one over that because I got too busy looking. That looked muddy. So I think I'm going to leave this. I don't really like the way that looks, so I'm going to make a little small kiss there, a small kiss there, a small kiss here, and there. Okay. I've got a lot of balloon kisses on this. And I still have some of the background cell things sticking through. So I think I'm gonna leave this and let it dry. Okay. Maybe later on after it dries, I may come back and mix some of my glitter, a little clear gesso, a little fun and retarda. That's to keep the paint from drying. I may bling it with some little fine, fine little glitter. I haven't glittered yet, but I've been thinking about it. So there'll be fine little glitter flakes. I probably could shake a little light glitter here and let it dry, but I don't know if it would sink or how my varnish would react to it. So definitely, I need to talk to some of the ladies that maybe have used some glitter to bling up a little bit of their paintings. I'm hoping this gray looking stuff really dries to the beautiful silver I've seen it dry to before. So maybe in the future, we will do something with this. I'll take off my gloves and then give it one final quick torch. Not that it needs it, but just to pop the air bubbles.
Okay, I don't know. I wish you guys could tell me out there what you think about that one. I'm like, meh. Definitely need to practice my swipes a little more. Interesting. But oh well. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that. I'd really like to get your feedback on it. And definitely once it dries, I will come back and show you the dry results. And I may... I may put some glitter on this yet. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed it. And this is a swipe with a balloon kiss. It's interesting, so I'll definitely try that again. Thank you so much. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Hi, Carol Berglund here with Carol's Art Creations. So this is a painting that I struggled with. It didn't quite turn out. I swiped the color off and then I started again. Yeah, this one is a swipe and balloon kiss. I finally did get it to turn out. It actually turned out great for the amount of struggle I went through. But this is my painting and I'm actually quite pleased with the way it turned out. I'm starting to see the, what looks like gray is actually silver and some of the silver, bring in for close up here, you can see the glint of the silver. And I'm hoping by the time it really cures well and I varnish it, I'll be able to see more of that silver shining through. But this one turned out quite nice considering the struggles and I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. I haven't decided on a name yet, but hopefully by the time I upload it, I will come up with some uh, name to make it um, identifiable to you. So anyway, thank you and I will see you again on my next art creation. Take care. Bye-bye.